All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, let's talk about this new NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 12 gigabyte. Uh, some people have now come out with some benchmarks, which is kind of good because I think from the early press releases from the NVIDIA, they weren't really giving out much detail other than the amount of memory and stuff like that. So let's just go through this article. Uh, we'll go through it together and I'll just give you my take on it, my points of view and uh, go from there. All right, so this is kind of good. Uh, we have early NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, 12 gigabyte. Uh, the benchmarks point to it being a hot and power hungry card that nearly matches the RTX 30 Ti in games. Yeah, so there's two things I don't like right now for mining is it's a hot and power hungry. I don't like those two things. I have 3080 Ti's now, LHR cards, and they burn 260 to 300 watts and they run under 70 Celsius in the 60s, some in the 50s. One burns hot, one runs hot about, oh geez, I don't know, 73, 74. I, it depends on the ambient temperature with that guy. I think I need to take, take them apart and put new thermal pads or thermal paste or whatever on it. So that's where I'm at. That, that's the first uh, couple red flags for me. And God knows how much this is going to cost. So in this article, if you look here, it looks like this eTechnics uh, tested the RTX 3080. 12 gigabyte with an MSI Supreme X. All right. All right, let's just go through this now. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 12 gigabyte is here. Is here, folks. Can I even highlight that paragraph? Yes. Uh, after months of leaks and rumors, initial bench, uh, benchmarks show that the RTX 3080 uh, 12 gigabyte offers better better gaming performance than the RTX 3080, almost to the extent that it matches the RTX 3080 Ti. However, the increased performance comes at a significant temperature and power cost. We just mentioned that already. Oh, they put that in there, hit the title. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, NVIDIA announced the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte yesterday at the uh, conference. Its latest high-end desktop graphics card. For some reason, the company refused to provide press or its board partners with pre-release drivers, so preventing anyone from providing day one reviews. Interesting. They're in it to make money. So this is all, hey, we got a new card. It's going to be another high-end card. It's probably going to be really expensive. But you may not want it, but we're going to sell it anyway. They want to make money, so they didn't want people to come out and burst their bubbles. I mean, just saying it's hot and power hungry, to me, that's eh, that's two negatives right now. And God knows, like I said, the price point of what this card is going to cost. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to jump ahead. I'm looking at efficient cards. Cards where you get a decent hash rate for the amount of power used. Uh, and that card I found is the AMD cards. I mean, I'm surprised. I jumped on the bandwagon with all the NVIDIA cards. Spent the top bucks on the 380 Ti's, LHR. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. I know, I know. But again, I'm getting 90 hash out of it. So not terrible, but they're expensive. They burn hot and they use a lot of power. The 6600 XT's, man, I love them. They're under 60 watts, 60 watts power, 32 mega hash, all mining Ethereum, ETH hash. So, I'm going for efficiency, smaller footprint, less amount of uh, power connectors I need because <laughs> some of those 3080 Ti's, you may need three, like two eight pins and a six pin plus a power uh, plug one to the PCI uh, riser. So you got four, it's just, it's just a hog. I don't know. I don't know. I prefer the smaller footprint card, the smaller efficient cards, the cards that don't burn so hot. All right, let's see. They announced it. They didn't. They want to do uh, reviews. Uh, this guy, eTechnics, I don't know who this is. I should know, but I don't. Uh, he has provided numerous benchmark results for NVIDIA's new graphics card, which we have embedded below. Additionally, the YouTube channel has shared a GPU-Z screenshot. Wow, cool. Yeah, GPU-Z, guys. If you don't have this, this is one of your favorite tools you need in your toolbox amongst many. 
but this is one of the guys and hardware info is another one. But GPU-Z, you can go download it for free and put that puppy on your workstation, on your Windows box. All right, so this guy has provided a GPU-Z screenshot of the RTX 3080, 12 gigabyte. He confirmed more, spe uh, confirmed more specifications such as its texture and pixel fill rates. Okay. Incidentally, GPU-Z reports the driver date as January 6, 2022. So the driver was ready for press before the card's announcement. So they didn't, obviously, this is kind of cool because he's doing forensic GPU-Z. Is it kind of showing that NVIDIA sat on all this stuff? They just wanted to get the press release. So people are going to go, ooh, where can I get this card and spend 2000 bucks? You know, whatever. You know what I mean? It's money. Full disclosure, I own NVIDIA stock, but it's down. It's down from when I bought it, which is par for the course with me. Whenever I buy a stock or anything, it tends to tank. So I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, let's hope it goes back up. So I want them to win because I want the stock to go up, right? All right, so the driver was ready for press before the card's announcement. Please note that the 1.89 gigahertz boost clock is a factory overclock. By default, the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte has a 1.71 gigahertz boost clock matching the RTX 3080 10 gigabyte. So here is the GPU screenshot. Uh, so it's a 3080 sub vendor MSI for this guy. Uh, trying to see what else. Memory type is GD, GDDR6X Micron. And I, I know someone who works at Micron, great company. They work hard and they make great stuff. Uh, let's see what else. Driver date, January 6, 2022. Uh, CUDA, OpenCL, Direct Compute, Direct ML, all that stuff is in there. BIOS versions there. Yep. So that's why you want GPU Z from Tech Power Up. You got to get it. If you don't have it, put it on your Windows box now. Do it. I'll wait. All right. Let's go on. Unsurprisingly, the RTX 38 12 gigabyte shades is 12, uh, 12, 10 gigabyte sibling in most games. So yeah, there's more memory. All right, more about games, blah, blah, blah. I'm more interested in mining stuff. Let's see, motherboard. So it nears the RTX 3080 Ti in most gaming benchmarks as the graph below shows. Okay, we're gonna go down to the graph. However, eTechnics notes that the RTX 38 12 gigabyte at least the MSI Supreme X version runs over one dBA quieter, ooh, one decibel quieter, quieter than the equivalent RTX 3080 and RTX 38 Ti. The 3080 12 gigabyte consumes more power, oh my god, than the uh, RTX 3080 Ti under load. Yeah, that's not good for me. I don't like that. Power comes heat and cost. Similarly, while NVIDIA has raised the RTX 3080 12 gigabytes TDP, which is the top top something ah, I forgot what that means it's in um it's in hardware info it'll show you what that is uh, by 30 I guess the top desirable uh, temperature you can run it at I think uh, uh, by 30 watts yeah it's the top power uh, consumption by 30 watts compared to the RTX 3080 uh, ETEX recorded a 37 watt uplift okay so they allowed it to chew Yeah, they allowed it to chew up more uh, 37, up to more uh, wattage just to get some more juice out of this puppy. Okay. Let's see. Strangely, the RTX 3080 runs much hotter than either the 3080 or 38Ti. To reiterate, NVIDIA has not set an MSRP for the RTX 3812 gigabyte. According to eTechnics, even NVIDIA's board partners do not know how much they should charge for the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte. As such, early listings are several hundred dollars and euros more expensive than the RTX 38 10 gigabyte counterparts. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm thinking, wow, what are you thinking, guys? Expensive. Because they're going to brand it as a new card. You need this card, they're going to say. You need this. So here's some metrics. They're running game stuff. I mean, my only beef, as a stock card with NVIDIA, I wish they would focus on the mining market. There is such a utility to a utility to be I don't know addressed just make mining cards for miners no fluff just stuff low profile low form factor minimal power efficient 
wattage versus hash, uh, easily upgrade the BIOS. Just, I don't know. I think they're missing a huge market with the miners because miners buy one to many GPUs, right? We just don't buy one and done or a couple for our games. You know, we buy multiple rigs to mine crypto. So I don't know why Nvidia is kind of missing that, missing that market. All right, let's go through. This is all just uh, the power wattage. Let's look at this real quick. 3080 Ti. Lower is better, they put. <laughs> power of 88.9. And then there's a 3080 Supreme, which is 101. And 95. Wow. Okay. What's the temperatures? 4360. Yeah, look at this. Look at this right here. So 70, that's hot. That is hot. That's 77 Celsius, right? Yeah, it's got to be Celsius. That is cooking. Uh, let's see, 38 Ti. Yeah, that's about right. 69, that's what I'm getting. 69 Celsius on the 38 Ti. That's about what I run and on average. Sometimes it shoots up to 72, 73 on one of them. But in general, that is about right. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? 77 on average is, is pretty much cooking. I don't know about that. That makes me nervous. I just think of heat and paying for that power too. Acoustics, decibel lower is obviously better. Yeah, 3080 Ti is a little noisy. How is this 3080 12? Oh, it's quiet, okay. I do crank the fans on mine because they're in a grow tent, but that's okay. All right, and is this the guy that made the video? I think go check out his video. This is on notebookcheck.net. I don't know who this guy is. The source is eTechnics, and you go check it out. For me, I don't know. Let's think about this for a second. There's a lot of other articles out here. Oh, here's some pre-orders begin today as another launch descends into chaos. Great. That's good to know. Uh, so NVIDIA officially launches the GE4's RTX 38, 12 gigabyte without an MSRP and prevents day one. What is it? Prevents day one reviews because like they said above, the driver was available, but they did not release it to the... Uh, community so we could do our own benchmarks and tests and stuff like that but i only have the card so we're not gonna do much good right all right having uh bought a lot of these nvidia cards and spent a lot of money and i'm trying to get my roi i am not going to spend a lot of money on any more of these big cards i'm just concerned of uh number one the heat to the power consumption i gotta pay 12 cents per kilowatt hour here i don't really give a crap about that i'm getting 90 i don't know what hash i get on this guy if it's like the 3080 Ti, maybe you're gonna get 90. And it should be an LHR car, right? I think by default, everything's LHR. I don't think they even mention, I'm looking in, I am looking in the GPU Z and sometimes it says memory type micron. Uh, I do not see anything. I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing it is, right? Yeah, nothing's, nothing's displaying right here. All right, yeah, so cost. Power usage, uh, heat, and unknown hash rate, just the MSRP too. I, I'm i happily now, I, I, after messing with, like I said, with the MD 6600 XTs, low profile, easy to hook up. NB Miner loves them. They get 32 mega hash mining ETH, and then I could probably run those over to another coin. Best one now out there, the most performer, 114 mega hash, 3090. Those are not cheap. What's your ROI on that guy? Here's, I got a bunch of 38 TIs. Yeah, I am mining ETHash. And my backup is Ergo on those guys. I got a 30 LHR, backup is Flux. All right, guys, there you go. We do have the 3080 out. NVIDIA pushed it out. Are you going to go buy one? Are you going to sp spend probably thousands of bucks on it? I'm guessing it's going to be, I don't know. It's going to be well over 1200 maybe higher, 2000 uh, It's got to be expensive because there's such a need for these GPUs. And uh, I am not going to buy one. I'm happy with what I got. And I'm just going to be focused on the more efficient, smaller footprint cards and uh, go with that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Yeah, like I said, are you going to go buy one? What do you think about all this stuff? And, uh, yeah, that's good. Good there's new stuff coming out, but do I want it? Do I need it? No. All right, I'm out, guys. Take care. I will talk to y'all.